Hello, this is Amjad Al-Mandilawi from Baghdad, Iraq, presenting a case of CTO of the left circumflex and three bifurcations, and actually only one of the bifurcations required the stenting. The case is a 65-year-old man presented with angina or chest discomfort on exertion. He has hypertension, not diabetic, and a smoker. He has history of stenting of LID five years ago, then followed by total ISR, one year later, followed by cabbage by three, you had Lima to LED, SVG to OM, and SVG to the RCA. This is the native coronary artery. We can see a small LID with osseal critical lesion, then total ISR, and total left circumflex, and a total proximal RCA. This is the Lima to LID. It is patent and the LID is okay. There are some lesions in the distal LID, but none critical. And this is the SVG to the RCA. It was stented by direct stenting at an outside hospital. And this is the SVG to the OM. You see the circumflex is a large artery and is, has, ha, it has multiple branches. And the SVG is anastomosed to a large OM. But what we see here is a critical lesion following the anastomosis. This is a bilateral injection. This is the proximal part of the cirque. It seems it is a large circumflex, and there are multiple lesions in this circumflex. If we go here and study the still image there is a long lesion cto more than 20 millimeter the stump looks to be tapered it's okay uh, and this is the circumflex there are two more lesions after the cto and this is the om which is a branching the stenosis is before the anastomosis and after the anastomosis so the idea was not easy what to do for this case. We could go through the SVG and open this part, but still we have ischemia at the other parts. So we decided to open the CERC itself and decided, so what we need is to pass the CTO and pass a wire into the CERC, but we also need to pass a wire into this large OM which is branching and have some tortuosity. So we have here a bifurcation from the left main stem to the LID, and you have a bifurcation from the CERC to the OM, and here's a trifurcation actually, but the problem is with the angle going to the proper OM. Uh, our aim was to open the CTO and extend this bifurcation. So we went bilateral approach we had a catheter in the SVG with a safety wire and a micro catheter with wires in wire into the circumflex multiple wire trying to open the CTO was well, actually failed the integrate approach the wire were all always going outside extra luminal and then we went on for the uh, parallel wire technique we also failed so we switched on to a retrograde approach. Here we have a microcatheter through the SVG using AL catheter, and then a wire reversed back from the OM into the circumflex. This is from another view. And finally, by the Gaia second wire, we were able to cross retrogradely into the proximal cirque. And here we can see the wire. It was pretty easy to go into the guiding cath. After crossing to the guiding cath, then the next step would be to go to externalize the wire. But usually we prefer to cross by the microcatheter and go a tip in technique. And that was possible. You can see here is our microcatheter. This is the retrograde microcatheter coming from the SVG into the left main. And we passed from the anti-grade catheter into this retrograde catheter. Then we were able to pull back the retrograde microcatheter. And now we have a wire anti-gradely through the circumflex. But the problem is now to cross 
to the proper circ and not only into the OM. So after we pre-dilate it, then we need to do to go to the pro to the proper circumflex. And it was not possible to do that unless we have used a dual lumen microcatheter. This is the tip of the Sasuke microcatheter, and this is the wire. And through the microcatheter, dual lumen microcatheter, we were able to go into the main uh, branch of the circumflex. Now, the other challenge would be to go from the OM through this trifurcation into the main branch, because this wire is coming from the SVG, and our integrated wire is going also to the SVG. It was again not possible unless we used a dual lumen microcatheter. This is the tip of the uh, Sasuke, and here you can see this is the, our wire. We will go through the main branch of the OM. So now we have two wires, one in the body of the circ and the other through the OM till the distal branch. We predilated all lesions. We usually, after doing predilatation, do not do injections until doing IVAS and then go for stenting. But we wanted to know how much the SVG is now supplying this artery. And you can see that integrally there is no flow, but to our surprise, even the retrograde didn't supply the proper circ. So we did IVAS and it was clear that predilatation has caused a large intramural hematoma. So we went on for stenting. We had a stent distally and then we used two stent for the OM and the circumflex mini crush technique. We inflated the OM stent, then we crushed it and then another stent from the circ to the left main stem, then kissing inflation, Post dilatation, we did pot and then pot for the left main stem. We cross into the LED. We just wanted to open the uh, osteal LED. Maybe for the future, the patient will require PCR for the LED. And we did pot again. And this is the final result from the SVG. Uh, you may argue that we need to close the SVG, but actually, there is no clear evidence that we have to do that review of literature did not show that we always need to close the ASD and this is the anti-grade flow uh, we can see stent from the main stem to the circ to the body of the circ and this is the bifurcation and it seems to be a good final result and thank you